Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Azone. Azone was nice enough to send over their HD camera kit for me to review, and I will get into this today for you. Now this camera kit comes with two cameras. It also comes with a DVR that has a one terabyte hard drive in it uh, so that you can record your security footage on. Uh, this DVR will support up to four cameras, but this kit only has two. Uh, I happen to have uh, the 960p resolution version of this as well. Now you can use this with Windows, iOS, or Android, uh, or you can view directly uh, through the uh, DVR, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, plug and play installation, smartphone surveillance, uh, you've got uh, four, eight, or 16 camera setups here, high definition 960p, uh, network enabled, motion detection, alarm, PSE, uh, you do have a SATA connection for that one terabyte hard drive that is in your DVR, USB 2.0, VGA outputs and inputs on the DVR as well. And they also include a USB 2.0 mouse that you can use uh, to navigate the menus on the DVR. We'll get into that at the end of the video. On the back are the kit specifications. Now they do sell 1080p cameras as well as 960p and 720p. I happen to have the 960p version of this setup. Uh, so mine are 1280 by 960p. You can remote view via P, uh, PC or smartphone uh, or browser. Recording mo uh, modes are de motion detection, schedule, uh, and full day recording. Now your lens uh, on the 960p version is gonna be 3.6 millimeters. Auto ICR for night vision, so it does have IR ports in it for night vision. Uh, waterproof level is IPX67 for outdoor use. H.264 compression format, supported mobile phone surveillance. PTZ control is supported, even though these cameras don't have pan, uh, tilt, and zoom. Uh, PAL or NTSC. Your audio compression is going to be G.711A. DC uh, input is going to be DC 12 volts. Uh, the video playback is uh, four channels. Uh, again, we only have two cameras, uh, but it will support up to four channels for the DVR. Uh, and they are power over ethernet. So you only have to plug in a network cable to the camera uh, to uh, power the cameras and have them work. Backup to flash drives, USB hard drives, uh, DVD RWs, and uh, network backups as well are all supported. If you need to get in touch with them, you can check them out at www.azone-tech.com or you can email them at service at azone-tech.com. These are the codes that you can scan for your Android or iOS app. And if you go to the About Us, it will take you to their webpage as well. Again, a resolution on my particular model is gonna be 960p, 1.3 megapixels, uh, plug and play, CMS management and smartphone surveillance, uh, long distance transmission, uh, real time coaxial transmission. Uh, it's going to be over ethernet and powered over ethernet. So a very cool setup here. I'm going to unbox this and then I'm gonna get back. I'll be right back. Okay, now we've got everything out of the box here. They do give you a box with cables in them. These are just your network cables. Since they are a PoE or a power over ethernet enabled cameras, uh, you uh, get these in the box so that you can hook up the two cameras that you do get. So that's awesome that they already have you set up with network cables out of the box. Now here are the cameras. There are two of them. I'm going to open one uh, just to show you uh, initially what these look like and uh, how you will uh, mount these and set these up. Uh, as you can see, once we get the cover off of this, uh, this is meant to be mounted uh, to your ceiling, uh, and then you'll have a little uh, Allen key that you can use to set the angles. Uh, as you can see right here, you've got some Allen keys. That they also include those in the accessories uh, so that you can set the angle uh, and position of your camera. And as you see right here, here is your power over ethernet jack. You only need one cable uh, to go from the uh, DVR straight to the camera and you are all set. So that is actually very easy. They have an optional power jack there as well, but you don't necessarily need it. There's your second camera here. I'm not going to unbox that one right away. 
Uh, we'll get into the accessories box and they give you a ton of accessories to make sure that you're all set here. They do give you a USB 2.0 mouse, which I thought was really cool. You can hook that up to the DVR uh, for uh, managing the windows uh, through the DVR menus. Mounting hardware here for your camera. There is a driver disk uh, for, I'm assuming, for Windows and a uh, remote control for your DVR as well. You have a power brick here that will be for the DVR to plug your DVR in. And of course your power cable as well and some more mounting hardware in the bottom here. So they pretty much have you set up for uh, pretty much everything you can think of uh, to get this kit up and running. I'll put some of these to the side and I do want to unbox the DVR for you and show you how that comes boxed up. So here we have our Azone DVR. It does have a one terabyte hard drive in it for continuous recording. It is H.264 compression. So let's open this up and show you guys what it looks like. We'll go over the ports on it real quick as well. Okay, so we have our uh, DVR here, and it is nice and compact, which I uh, appreciate. It has a one terabyte hard drive inside it. On the front, you can see the A-Zone logo. You do have an IR port. You do have two LEDs, one for power and recording, an escape button, of course, your navigation buttons as well to navigate menus, venting on both sides. On the back, you have four different RJ45 uh, cable inputs for up to four cameras. Uh, so you can do up to four wired cameras in this uh, DVR. Uh, the kit only comes with two. You have a VGA output. Uh, you also have an HDMI output, which is great. So you can just set this up on a TV or a monitor. Uh, then you have your uh, network cable for uh, just hooking right into your router uh, and putting this right on your network. And two USB 2.0 ports, one for uh, that included USB 2.0 mouse, and of course your DC in, uh, input here for powering the unit itself. Overall, I really like this setup. Uh, I'm going to get everything set up for you, and then I will be right back with some explanation of how everything is working. Okay, so now we're back with the cameras actually set up. I actually set up one camera. The second camera on the right is actually my wireless camera downstairs, and the DVR picked it up and actually utilized my already wireless IP camera that I already had. So that's actually pretty cool. As an added bonus, I can actually record uh, my other camera as well that's already installed in my house. So it worked out really well. You can see, you can see up to four different cameras here. This is the main cam one, is the one that I have set up in this room. And you can see the picture is just excellent at 960p. Uh, and you have plenty of different options uh, to go full screen. And as you can see, it looks really, really good. Uh, nice and sharp, uh, great in, uh, a well-lit environment and it does work well in night shooting as well with its IR LEDs. Uh, I don't have that. You have back buttons um, and forward buttons to switch between cameras if you want to. Uh, you can switch back and forth between uh, all of the cameras that you have. Uh, you have uh, also other buttons here for connecting all video uh, or disconnecting all video, uh, recording all channels, or uh, not recording or close all channels uh, for recording. So they, they give you these options right here on the bottom. So that's actually really, really nice just to have them right at the bottom of the screen. Now this is being controlled again through the DVR directly using a USB 2.0 mouse and hooked up to a, an HDTV via HDMI. So overall, uh, the ease of use on this is, is just very simple to hook up. I just hooked up one network cable, hooked up the DVR, hooked everything up to the TV, and away I was going. Uh, if you right click, you get several different uh, modes that you can do here. Uh, you can set your color settings for when the IR LED is on or off, uh, so you can change them for night 
and you can change them for uh, day shooting as well. So they give you a wide range there. You've got uh, record mode and playback mode, uh, pan to zoom uh, controls, although these particular cameras that come with it don't support it. The DVR does. Uh, so if you do have cameras that support that, uh, you will be able to check those out as well. Output adjustments again. Uh, you know, whether you want to change uh, how it looks on the screen, you can do that. Uh, playback, uh, you can playback uh, things that are caught by motion detection. Like when I started this video and I just started doing everything, it has been recording it the whole time. So as you can see, we are playing it back right now. Uh, and you'll see my hand go out in front of it uh, like I did earlier in the video uh, right there. So you can see... Uh, that it, it was recording and I'm playing it back, no problems. You can fast forward, you can clip it, you can export it uh, to a USB device uh, connected to the DVR. Uh, you can obviously stop playing it and you can go back to your uh, other screen as well just by right clicking on the screen and uh, going up window. It takes me back to my camera and if I do it again, I can uh, access more options here. So overall, uh, very, very feature rich environment here, a leaving full screen. We can go back, we can go back to our four camera setup. Again, we have this camera that is downstairs that isn't even an A-Zone camera, it's just on my network. Uh, and the DVR was smart enough to pick it up uh, and allow me to check that out as well. So very cool that I can actually use the DVR to record uh, off brand uh, cameras that happen to be on my network as well. You can obviously add uh, cameras just by clicking here. Uh, you have a guide. This is the configuration wizard that you run when you first start everything up. And it's very simple. It gets you set up on your network uh, super qu uh, quick just by going through that. Uh, you can uh, go to your main menu here and you've got record options, alarm options, system options. Uh, you know, if you go into display, uh, you can set those options, RS, uh, 232 options, uh, you can set your compression, you can set your resolution, your frames per second, uh, variable bit rate. Uh, they just have so much here that you can get into and fine tune. They did a very, very good job on this. Again, your display, uh, your system display right now is in 1280 by 1024, but if you wanted it to be in 1080p, uh, you could do that uh, and you'll have to reset your or restart your uh, DVR, but once you do, it'll be in 1080p. Uh, so very, very uh, cool that they have all of these set uh, settings here that'll allow you to just really fine tune your uh, surveillance setup. Uh, general, you can do your time zone, your date format, 12 or 24 hour time format, all of these different languages, uh, your video standard, um, you know, when your storage is full, whether you want it to overwrite the older stuff or uh, stop recording your machine name, everything is just in here. They just do an excellent, excellent job setting up uh, other devices, RS845 uh, or I'm sorry, RS485 devices. You can do that as well uh, because it is supported. Your net service info is all here. Um, your server ports, your SMTP, uh, whether you're connected to the cloud or not, uh, or mobile is also here as well. So going through everything, I am thoroughly impressed with what Azone has put together here as a package. It would take me literally an hour to go over all of the features that are included here. So I'm definitely giving this a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this setup, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.